Alright, uh, this isn't how I intended on starting this video. But, ow. We seem to have made some friends. Oh, you know what? I can. Jeez, I'm gonna die. I'm standing on top of them. I just remembered you can actually shoot wolves. Well, at least gray wolves twice with a 30 out of 6. It's probably a good thing they're leaving. But, uh, we may actually save one or two of these harvests. Um. I don't know. Maybe we'll leave them. But today's video went from I have no idea what I'm going to do to really interesting quite quickly. So just to explain uh, what's going on. If you watch the stream, we were up in this area and I thought I had seen an albino ibex. We ended up shooting a couple of albino mouflon. And I've been told the mouflon rares are spawning too commonly. So that wasn't really a big deal. But after the stream, I came back up here to see if I did in fact see an albino ibex, and I came across a level 5 mouflon. Now, they should be drinking. Um, I believe they drink, yeah, till 9.30. Actually, we're probably a little early. I thought it was 5 to 9. It's 6 to 9. So, I mean, my plan still is going to work, because I believe I know where he drinks, and I just want to go across the water here, because it's a, it's a weird spot, the way the terrain is. But from this opposite side, we ought to be able to see a lot better, and hopefully we can get them from there. Uh, otherwise, we'll try to scoot in a little closer, but with it being early like this, we should have plenty of time to get something lined up. In the meantime, I think we might go ahead and try to smoke that. Because that's a pretty good looking Ibex. And if you didn't watch the stream, you can get a bit of a look at them. So hopefully I remember to go get that. But, uh... We're going to hang out over here because this is much better. Like, you end up coming from up on this hill and they drink somewhere right kind of below it. So it's tough to get into position. But from over here, we should be really set to, like, pick out the five and hopefully get them. That must be him. That's got giant horns on it. If I could just... Yeah, that's the five. Okay. To say this has not gone to plan would be an understatement. I just could not see from over there. Like, it looks so open, but there's just so much brush and stuff for them to hide behind. At this point, I'm over where the Ibex died, but finally we might be getting a chance here. So, we'll keep the 6.5 ready. I wouldn't even mind a hard shot, because I've seen Quick Kill be a little bit, uh, I don't know, less than a guarantee. Gosh, he got real close there. So, if he could just notice me and stop, that would be nice. Or, I mean, I'm not opposed to broadside. That should be real good. I think we got the liver, too. All right. Uh, we are 30 minutes in exactly. We finally killed the mouflon. Ow. So, um, I haven't said it yet, but I do know what his track is. And I was hoping that I could show it. Because I did pick it up uh, when I initially spotted him a while ago. He is 59.15, so he'll be a pretty good one. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was not how that was meant to go at all. But the good thing is, I'm not going to forget the Ibex, because it's literally right there. And you can forget about taking a screenshot of that, but... We have a 970 Diamond Mouflon. Look at the horns on that. I don't know for sure that 970 would necessarily be like the biggest style of horns you could get. Maybe. But that's really, really cool looking. And actually, I did not catch the back lung. I ended up lung, liver, stomach, intestine, which I'll take that look any day. But now that we're 30 minutes into this, we'll go claim our Ibex. And my goal for this, once I saw the mouflon earlier, was to actually hunt wolves and do the multi-mouth. So there's a new multi-mouth. There's actually two new multi-mouths. One's called, I believe, the Grand Slam or something to that effect. And it is one of each for the Ibex species, a male of each. The one I want to do is a... I think it's a male mouflon and three male wolves. So we got one of the wolves. You may have noticed I saved that gray one we killed at the beginning. So that's just going to be a, a bit of a fur variation. And I don't really know where to hunt them. 
seems like up north is good, so maybe we'll try over this other mountain. I think that's where I had some during the live stream. Hello. You're just gonna be right there. We'll take those. That's actually the biggest red deer I've seen so far. And you know what? If this is a 221 track, I had this track during the stream. Yeah, that's one that we kind of knew about anyway. So I don't think I'm going to bother mounting it. There's nothing new uh, as far as red deer go, but we'll definitely take those on our way over here. Okay. That's not a wolf, but I think we'll drop everything and go chase that. Uh, so, there's a couple of interesting things here. I noticed on the live stream, I don't know if this is going to be a thing specific to this map, or maybe it's a, a beta, like, thing that's not going to be in the live game. But Rodier drink, like, early in the morning. Like, back on Hirschfeld, and they drink early afternoon, 1300 to 1700, I believe. Uh, but Rodier drink in the morning on this map, at least in the beta, so potentially he's drinking over here. And the other thing... I shot a Rodier with a 6.5 as I was just running around earlier, and that does not give integrity, so I've got the Mosin on me. It's just a matter of figuring out where he lives, because what the heck. Is he actually here? I got his zone, and I was just crouching along. I didn't think he was here, but I just heard a footstep, as if I might have alerted him. Yeah, and he's not even alert. How the heck does he not know I'm here? Well, I'm not going to hesitate if he'll lift his head. Now he knows I'm here. Let's see if we can get a better shot out of it. Yeah, we had it. I really don't want to mess that up because I have never killed a very big roadier. I think 970-something is my best. That's what we're looking for. Okay. So, I think I probably know what's going to happen. Because this is like a beta and it's not going to count in my live game, probably it's going to score 1,000. I've had terrible 1,000 scoring animal luck with max weights. Like, I've killed a ton of max weight animals in the live game. May most of the time they don't uh, end up as a 1,000. If I had to bet just because of the circumstances, this guy probably will be. So, let's see. We got max weight, yep. <laughs> well, I can't complain about that. That is kind of dumb, but, you know, I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll taxidermize him, we'll throw him in the lodge, and then once the DLC is actually released, he's pretty much as good as gone, so that just about figures, I guess. <laughs> All right, finally, we have at least a wolf. I was not planning on having to resort to their drink time, but I am just having like a horrible time finding them. So, we're just gonna take that one there. And I still need one more male for that multi-mount because I really want to do it. I mean, that was the entire point of this and it's turned into shooting everything else essentially, but I know they drink over here. We got a zone during the stream. I finally remembered, like, this is one of the places I found them. It's down, uh, kind of, like, southwest. So, in theory, there should be more. I did just switch the time, so they might be slow getting here. Hold up. What the... Did I find one? Uh... What? What are you doing? You're not a male. Are any of you a male? I just need one. Eh. Okay. Good enough. <laughs> what the heck? Where were they? I don't even care. All I need is two of these. I've been at this way longer than expected. So the good thing is, that's a common, actually a good one. I think I had his track. 45, I'm pretty sure I did. So that'll be good contrast to the gray one we shot. And then I have absolutely no idea what the one we shot uh, over here a little earlier was. But I'm glad to have that out of the way, because I just don't know enough about them right now. And the thing is, like, hunting them at night in their drink zone is fine, if you know where they drink. I imagine hunting them in the daylight 
when I have a better idea of where they live will be okay. But it's not like the Yukon where they live in such an open area you can just spot them from long distance, so... Yeah, I think that's the same coat as the other one, but we'll take it because this has actually turned into quite a long and interesting hunt. All right, so I think we'll just go ahead and use this biggest plaque for that new one. And I want to see... Oh, that is actually cool. The idea of the the move line just facing it. What else do we have for poses? Kind of fleeing. I think I'm probably going to want one kind of like that. That's a really cool idea, though. I think that's all of them. Like, the one where they've got it by the leg. I think that's what I'm going with. And accidentally, the gray one's the one that has it. And I'm very okay with that. So, yeah. Uh, I'll probably, probably go make it a little earlier in the day so we can see better. And why not just stick our thousand road here that we can't keep... Right here looking on, I guess. What in the world? That was so, so weird. But I know there's a bed in here somewhere where you can rest. I just have to remember which room it's in. I think I changed my mind with the lighting. I just like that better. I mean, it is a diamond. It's nice to display the horns better because laying down in the grass, it did have its horns hidden just a bit. Actually, it's kind of kicking the horn in the face. That's kind of cool. But yeah, I mean, this was like a, a perfect example People ask quite often, like, how I play the same game as often as I do. And it's for stuff like this. Like, I kind of knew there was the diamond move line out there, or at least one that could be. And the goal of the video was to kill that and then go hunt wolves. And then it turns into this thing where we kill a thousand roe deer. And it's the unpredictableness and the, the stuff like that that happens that keeps things interesting. But anyway, this map is so cool. Like, the variety of species and everything. I'm really, really liking it. And then... Stuff like the couple of diamonds that we had today show up, and that definitely doesn't hurt anything either. But I think that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.